among the miracles of the Book of Allah and among the miracles of the Hadith of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is that everyone understood it. What does that mean? All right, let me just put a couple of points here. Uh, those of you who have read for Kafka or Kant, you know, have, have you read for, for some of them, philosophers? And sometimes you read, or Nicomachus or Aristotle, some of, their, some, of their, some of their things, Nietzsche some of the times. Sometimes when you read some philosophers, it takes you a couple of times to read the article once and twice and three times. Tough language, complex things, right? And then you say, you know, I need to put the book down. I, I, you know, I need to take a break. My brain is fried. That's because human beings do that. Look at the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa In the authentic hadith, he says, Utitu jawami al-kalim. I was given jawami al-kalim. What does that mean? It means he tells you complex principles in a very simple way. So the one who is the most knowledgeable of people can sit and understand. And the most layman of people, the Bedouin who came from the desert, who doesn't know anything, can also understand. Yes, their understanding may be different as far as depth. But they all understand. No one is left out. And that's among the miraculous characteristics of the speech of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That people understand it. Yes, you can argue the one who just became Muslim does not have the same depth of understanding like Abu Bakr al-Siddiq radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Sure. But everyone is included. Yani al Quran al Karim also, by definition, speaks to everyone. Do not treat this book as a dead book. It's a living book that speaks to you. Don't take this book and put it on the shelves. The Quran does not belong on the shelves of your homes. And don't make it ceremonial. We use the Quran for ceremonial reasons nowadays. You know, whenever there's a ceremony, an event, let's, yeah, let's do the Quran. La al Quran requires our first priority and attention. And reading it. Can you just read and do your own tafsir? No, you can't, obviously. Why? Because you have to have knowledge. But does is there a dimension of the Quran that you understand? Yes. Do you understand all dimensions of the Quran? No, you require knowledge for that. But does it do you understand sufficient information to clear your way in this life? Absolutely. Absolutely. Allah says, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. وَلَقَدْ يَسَّرْنَا الْقُرْآنَ لِلذِّكْرِ فَهَلْ مِنْ مُدَّكَرْ We have made the Qur'an easy for remembrance. Is there anyone to contemplate? Go to the Qur'an. Go to the Qur'an, open the book of Allah, establish your relationship with the book of Allah directly. Directly. 